Hello. I'd like to take this opportunity to talk to you about a program that we're offering for 2016. This is going to be a block of the day program. You may have heard of block of the month. Well, we've taken it a step further and we're going to do a block of the day throughout 2016. So it's going to start in early January 2016 and you'll receive all the information that you need for the pattern um, in weekly downloadable form so that each week you'll, you'll receive um, a link that will allow you to download the patterns for seven blocks. The blocks are not very large. Just, I've got one just here just to show you. They're fairly small, um, but a lot of fun. So it's operating through my website. If you're interested in registering or finding out more information, it's there on my website on gourmetquilter.com. Just look for the tab down the side that says Block of the Day 2016. And the information is all there. Registrations are open already. We're looking forward to having a community all around the world making this quilt. Um, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some of the fabrics that I've used. I've used the very delicious Hoffman Barley range. As you can see from the quilt here, we're starting in the centre with a dark fabric. And each time we put a round of blocks on, it gets a little bit lighter coming right out to the countryside. So these are the fabrics that I've used here. Starting with a dark one, getting a little bit lighter each round that we go on. These are the Barley Hoffman range. And then for all the applique, I've used some of, again, the same range, the Barley Hoffman uh, pre-cuts. I've used some five inch squares, some 10 inch squares, and some two and a half inch strips. Really just a variety of colors. It, the color pack isn't specific. It's more that you get a good range of colors. And by using the pre-cuts, because we only needing small pieces, then that gives us a nice variety. Uh, the threads that I've used are very delicious Aurifil threads. They're cotton 50 weight for all the applique. There's also a little bit of hand embroidery embellishment. And again, Aurifil do a lovely stranded cotton, uh, which I have found really nice to work with. So just to give you a little bit of an example of the Hoffman fabrics, there is quite a range in their barley range. This is a, a fabric colour chart that they have, which shows quite a large number of fabrics. So you can see that there's lots of opportunity if you're wanting to use these fabrics for you to be able to find the colours that will suit you. And as I said, they do the pre-cut packs in varieties, different varieties, so that works really well. So the type of applique that, that we've used, that we've done here, has been the fused raw edge applique. So again, small pieces of applique, they're fused in place so they don't slip around. Um, a stabiliser on the back is a good idea because I've done free motion stitching for all my applique. You may have a preferred method for your applique, that's fine, but I'll be showing you how I've done the free motion. Um, and as you can see, these are kind of fun little blocks. And yes, there are actually 365 of them because it is a block of the day program. And what can be better for you than quilting every day? This is fat free, sugar free fun. So let's have some fun doing it. So I'll talk a little bit more about the quilt now. We've got, we're starting in the center with a cityscape at night uh, with some little hand embroidered stars and things like that on there. And then we're moving out into some light industry. We've got an electrician, we've got a panel beaters, we've got a cafe, the all-important cafe, everybody needs a cafe. We've got a suburb with some houses, we've got some shops, we've got a park, we've got schools, we've got a hospital, we've got some vehicles, we've got a, an airport with a plane coming into land down here, um, we've got a train, gardens, we've got a campground, there's all sorts of things. This quilt is giving you every opportunity to personalise it, make it your own. Um, we're going, coming right out, we've got some more shops and things, and we've got some farms with some animals and vehicles, and then right out to the borders, which have got the rolling countryside hills and things on them. So really, all the sorts of things you might see going from the town out to the country. Well, maybe not all the things, but certainly some of the things that you might see in that environment. And I would be encouraging you to make it your own if you feel that you want to embellish it or rename things. That's entirely up to you. We have, of course, got in here a delicious quilt shop, which is called Gourmet Quilter. How unexpected is that? So we're hoping that you'd like to, to join in the fun. Um, 
as far as the fabrics go, I've talked a little bit about the fabrics. The fabrics are quite likely going to be available in a shop near you. As that information becomes available, that will go up on my website. So if you're looking for things like that, that will be where to look, or you can always email and ask some questions. The shops are going to be involved by having fabrics for you. They're going to run classes. They most likely will run little clubs so that you can meet together with other people making the quilt um, and share what you're doing with others. So much fun to be part of a community. And as well as that, um, there's going to be an online community. We've got a Facebook, Facebook group going for the Town and Country Quilt community uh, so that you can meet people from all around the world who are joining in this, making this quilt together. So have a look on my website, email if you have any questions. Don't forget to keep an eye out for your local shop being involved and the wonderful um, Hoffman fabrics and Orifil threads and the pattern from Gourmet Quilter. Thank you.